So what's the big deal about Stratford, Connecticut? I'll give you my top five reasons why you should think about moving there. Hi, I'm Stacey Olson with the Valentini team at William Ramis Real Estate. And on my channel, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about living on the Connecticut shoreline. Before I get into the good stuff, I'm gonna give you a couple facts about Stratford. First off, there's about 52,000 people that live there, and Stratford is actually the easternmost shoreline town in Fairfield County. It's at the mouth of the Housatonic River where it meets Long Island Sound. And at the end of 2021, the median home price was $337,000. So Stratford is a shoreline community. So for my number one pick, I'm gonna say the beaches. So Short Beach is a huge 30-acre park slash beach that's right on the Long Island Sound. So they have a thousand feet of direct access to Long Island Sound where they have, you know, lifeguards, a concession stand and bathrooms and all that like beachy stuff. And then they also have this huge park area. They have picnic pavilions, basketball courts, tennis courts, volleyball courts. They have lighted softball field, baseball fields, a skateboard park, and a handicap accessible playground. It's an amazing park, and honestly, anybody can find something to do there. They also have Long Beach, which as the name states, it is a long beach. It's actually a mile and a half long. And the easternmost part of it is actually open to the public, and they do have a parking lot, a lifeguard, you can go swimming there, or beach combing, whatever you wanna do. And then the central part of it is actually a wildlife preserve, so it is not open to the public. But you know what? Bring your binoculars. You might be able to catch some great wildlife. And last but not least, the Lordship Seawall. It is so beautiful. It's right up against the water, and there's some like walking paths and stuff there, but it is so amazing. The views are spectacular. And, you know, there's plenty of parking and you can go down there, walk the beach, just watch the sunsets. It's really a beautiful place to be. And there's some local restaurants and stuff down there. So it really makes an enjoyable time. So number two are parks and green space. So Stratford actually has a lot of parks. If you look online, there's literally a list of like 30 parks that are in Stratford. I know, it's, it's amazing. I'm gonna sort of focus on a couple for this video. But, you know, you really should probably check them all out if you decide to move here. The first one I'm going to talk about is the Booth Memorial Park. It is so amazing. I hate to admit, but I don't live very far from there, and I had never been there before until I decided to do this video, and I wanted to go get some video taken of the park. And honestly, it's so nice. So it's 30 acres and it's up on this hill and it's overlooking the Housatonic River. So number one, it's like a breathtaking area. And the people that used to own the property wanted to preserve some of Connecticut's history. So they have all these cool buildings there. Like they have an old toll booth when Connecticut used to have toll booths on the Merritt Parkway. They have an old train station. They have this little like uh, lighthouse that's like a miniature sized lighthouse there. It's just like, so nice. There's a playground. Like, I really highly recommend it. Like, I couldn't believe it. I am definitely going back. The second one I'd like to mention is Roosevelt Forest. Yeah, it says it's a forest, but really it's like a park. It's 400 acres and it's owned by the town and they have children's playgrounds. They have picnic areas. They have hiking and walking trails and it's great for wildlife viewing and they actually hold some events there throughout the year. And the last one I want to mention is Paradise Green. So it's actually the green for Stratford and you know it's got the gazebo and it's surrounded by some churches and it's really really cute. But right across the street there's like this really cute shopping area like no joke like I love it down there and I highly recommend people go check it out. So my number three reason to move to Stratford is accessibility. That's right, it's easy to get to. So they have 95, the Merritt Parkway, and the Boston Post Road all accessible 
in Stratford. So that's a big deal because those are like three major hub, like driving hubs in Connecticut. They have a Metro North train station. That's right. This is one of the benefits of living on the shoreline in Connecticut because all these towns have Metro North. So it gives people the option to commute into New York City if they want to. And lastly, they do have a small regional airport. It's called Sikorsky Memorial Airport, and it's in the Lordship area. And it gives people the option, if they have a small plane or they know someone that has a small plane, they actually can land there. So the number four reason is Sikorsky Helicopters. Yeah, Sikorsky Helicopters is actually headquartered in Stratford. And Igor Sikorsky actually built the first American helicopter here. And Sikorsky's has been here since 1957. It's actually a really big employer in the area. So for people that are working there or looking to work there, Stratford is a great option to live in. And related to Sikorsky, they actually have the National Helicopter Museum. It's in the old Stratford train station, and it's really a photographic history of the helicopter and it's really just a really cool place to go check out so for number five i'm going to call it food drink and more yeah there's a lot going on in stratford and i'm just going to name a couple things here but i highly recommend you check them out uh, number one two roads brewery that's right it's a craft brewery that opened up about 10 years ago in stratford and they actually took like an old factory building and refurbished it and like they have just taken off. They have become really well known. And there's actually two buildings now. So not only do they have their original two roads building, they have this separate building and it's called Area Two. And that's where they do more like their experimental brewing. But you know what? It's a really cool venue to see and the beers are really good. And kind of sticking with that brewery topic, there's Athletic Brewing. It's actually a craft brewery, but they make non-alcoholic beers that's right that's a really cool idea so i highly recommend you check them out another thing i want to mention is the stratford antique center it is so cool i love going there it's this massive building it's like over 16,000 square feet and they have like over 200 antique dealers that's right that's like a huge amount of dealers and it's so much fun. You get to go walk around, see what you like, and they have all different kinds of price points in there. I could spend like an entire day just perusing in there. I highly recommend you check it out. And another thing I'd like to recommend is the waterfront dining. So for me, I love going down to the Lordship Seawall. I just love it down there. And there's two really great restaurants. There's Little Pub, which is like literally right on the beach. So you have like direct waterfront views. And then there's Riley's by the seawall, which is like across the street, but just as great. And it's just so nice to go down there, especially when the weather's warm and it's just like the views are magnificent. So again, a big recommendation, two thumbs up for me. Stratford has so many great things to offer. I hope you consider it when you're looking for your next move. But if you're still not convinced, and you want to know all the secrets of the Connecticut shoreline, check out this video to learn the truth.